Hello, and welcome to SolidCam Professor. In this video, I'd like to walk you through how to use this new style of interactive documentation. As stated in the introduction, the purpose of this interactive guide is to jumpstart your basic knowledge of milling with SolidCam and to get you started using the newest module, iMachining. As you can see here, I'm using Adobe Reader. It is a free PDF reader that can be easily downloaded from Adobe's website. If you prefer using a different reader, it is important to make sure that the safe reading mode is disabled. This will allow launching of external files and connecting to URLs, which is essential for this style of interactive documentation to function properly. I recommend using Adobe Reader. Now let's get started. Here we have our table of contents just like any other PDF. You can click on one of the chapters and the PDF will jump to that specific chapter. I would recommend going through this interactive guide from start to finish. You'll see there are two main interactive elements throughout the guide. Part files provided in hyperlink blue and play buttons. Nearly all chapters contain interactive elements and I will show you how to activate part files and play the videos that exist in this document. After the introduction and how to use video to this interactive guide, what is SolidCam is an overview of SolidCam and why it proves to be the best CAM solution on the market. Following is an intro to programming with SolidCam. To see this introduction video, simply press the play button to stream the video over YouTube via your internet browser. The next chapter, Jumpstart with SolidCam Professor, is a step-by-step -step interactive video tutorial series to help you learn SolidCam. To launch the part file used throughout this lesson, simply click on simplecover1.sldprt to activate the file and open SolidWorks. To see a video of each step that has been implemented in order to reach the final camp part, simply press play, as shown here. At the end of this lesson, you'll see we are providing a completed CAM part file. We've done this throughout the guide, so you may compare your completed CAM parts with solid cams. In the next chapter, what is SolidCam iMachining? You will be introduced to SolidCam's revolutionary iMachining technology. Following is an intro to programming with SolidCam iMachining. To see this introduction video, simply press the play button to stream the video over YouTube via your internet browser. After these introductions is getting started with iMachining Professor, another interactive professor video series to get you started with SolidCam iMachining. Throughout this series of videos, we'll use a few different parts which can be launched by simply clicking on the file names provided in the descriptions, as shown here. Again, you can press play to see each video of this series stream over YouTube via your internet browser. Lastly, we will conclude with a step-by-step -step written guide consisting of two interactive exercises, one on the definition process of SolidCam's iMachining technology, and another illustrating its use. To launch the part file used throughout exercise 1, simply click on imachiningwalkthrough.sldprt to activate the file and open SolidWorks. As you read through the following steps, simply press play to see a video of that step stream over YouTube via your internet browser, as shown here. Note there are six steps that have been implemented in order to reach the final camp part with six accompanying videos. One, two, three, four, five, and six. The last chapter, exercise two, contains two solid camp part files, one with only two and a half D toolpaths and another that includes 3D toolpaths. To launch either part file, click on the file name to activate it and open SolidWorks. There are also play buttons to see a video of the operations you are reviewing. Each bulleted operation has an accompanying video. 
And that concludes our how to use video on this new style of interactive documentation. Thanks for watching and enjoy.